After the framework is completed, deck plate for floors are delivered to site. There are many types of deck plates. And deck plate used in this steel frame is the composite deck plate with corrugate steel sheet or steel decking. But this deck plate require reinforcement placing in field before pouring. For that reason, deck plate with steel truss or steel decking can be used. Deck plate takes less money and time comparing to reinforced concrete decking because deck plate can be a form of deck decking itself. So it doesn't require formworks or stripping forms superior to reinforcement concrete decking. This project used the truss deck plate with steel sheets not corrugated but in this lesson, we used the two methods of steel decking. There are mainly two methods on creating corrugated steel sheet. First is creating it with a family composite floor decking from structural floors. Uh, using composite floor decking is the easiest and normal way. But making a model with this family cannot visualize the direction of corrugation in 3D view. Default families provided by Revit makes corrugation invisible for convenient working process. Also, the decking is created in poor decking, so placing reinforcement on the steel decking is very difficult. For more details, using model in place is required. So this is how to use model in place. Go to the top menu and click architecture, component, model in place. When you click model in place, a list would be given to choose the category and choose floor category. After choosing, first should be done is setting work planes. Select choose work plane and specify a plane as a work plane. After that, draw profile on the plane and extrude them. Drawing would be based on steel decking sectional detail. Deck plate would be created as an assembly of plates with specified dimensions. Deck plate would be cut by length meeting requirements of the contractor. Then work on drawing cross section of steel decking. Uh, horizontal lines at bottom would be extended by split by length 20, 142, and 88. and the vertical line from the left end would be extended by 70. Then all other horizontal line would be extended entering 40 and 112 and 118. Then remove unnecessary lines. And make a line with end of these two points one is the 10 and another is 20. So two lengths are different. To make them equal, move line at the top to the left by 5. So the shape of this model is uh, symmetry. A unit of steel decking is created. Steel decking is the pattern of the unit. Enter C O to duplicate the unit and the protrusion at right end is designed on unit to be assembled with another profile. Let's make the protrusion. Offset this horizontal line upward by 20 and trim these duplicated diagonal lines. Two tips with length 20 are the four lap joint of steel sheet. Then create thickness of this model. Set thickness as 1.6 mm. Primarily set offset. 
then put cursor on the line and enter tab so all the line would be selected and this sequence is a decent trick finally makes a closed loop with these lines extend this extrusion by the opposite end of this model modify the position of this extrusion uh, using by move to so a unit of steel sheet is completed specify this unit as a group and arrange it inside of the boundary of the floor model the floor without steel sheet must be filled with them so click on group and extend this properly after the modification create building openings go to create and click void forms void extrusion select the work planes as the top side of steel sheet and draw a loop based on boundary of steel frame Use offset tool to create another big loop by entering enough dimensions and extrude this loop top and bottom respectively to make the mess. After clicking OK, steel sheets are now trimmed by the original loop. So opening can be created with this procedure and create the opening for the elevator pit and other shaft. So modeling on steel sheet is completed. For more details, steel sheet inside of column should be eliminated using void forms. Then modify the level of the steel sheet with reference of other structure. After the steel sheets are completed, end plate should be covered the edge of them. And the plate seal steel sheet to prevent leakage of pouring concrete. Also, end plate joints wire mesh on steel sheet, beams, and columns together. Stud are embedded on end plates and increase the strength of wheel joints of steel sheet and end plate. Similarly, click architecture, component, model in place and select structural reinforcement now we use sweep tool for this process go to the top menu and click sweep sweeping is consisted of two steps first is the choosing path and second is the drawing profile along with path Path selections means that the model would be created along beams. The easiest way to select the path is creating floor slab first, then draw a path along the edge of slab. Therefore, create the floor slab. The thickness of the slab can be considered as the thickness of the composite deck plate. The concrete would be poured within this range. So create the closed path along the edge of the concrete. So a path penetrating column is created. Now go to the profile edit and draw edge plate. Thickness of this plate is 1.6 mm. In this way, create end plates by clicking OK with selected path and as a result profile and path is uh, specified model of end plate is completed repeat this process by clicking create and sweep after the creating steel sheet and end plate it is time for a wire mesh to be placed Work plane is always required, so go to the top menu, click area, 
and go on the next work. Create lines based on the exterior line of the, this building and modify setting on the direction of major bar. In particular, you are in 3D view. Don't forget to select the rebar as a solid. So steel bars are placed on the steel sheet. In case of this part, for a significant visualization, use the filler section box. After the process is completed with prior sequence, pour concrete on the sheet. In the decking is having the same level with the typical floor plans, select all of model create in this lesson. Click copy, then go to paste and click align to select level to duplicate the plate in other levels. Note that pouring concrete is not progressed yet. Pouring concrete would be progressed after installing panel on exterior walls. Construction works on this project had done during cold weather, so panel cannot but help curing of concrete and maintain temperature of poured concrete. So model concrete slab after installing panel like the actual project.